It is a balmy 44 degrees in my office this morning. Yee-haw! It's three degrees warmer out here in the lobby. Woo! <laughs> Morning. What are y'all doing? Um, sorting casual warehouses. Yeah. Ah. Making sure we got the order right. Yeah. So you guys are QCing it. This is the quality control. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Yeah. So you might wonder why these guys are in parkas out here in the shop and I'm only going to show you the floor I can't show you anything else um, <laughs> hey Mike would kill me so there's big things in the works we're teasing it Mike's starting to tease it but this is all we can show you is this really cool wood floor um, but they're in parkas because it's um, it's 48 degrees out here so yeah. 49 cool. 49 oh is it up to 49 yes, I added the second yeah heater. <laughs> the second heater makes a difference so you guys are going to be seeing more and more of these folks. We've got Tyler right here, and he is the shop manager, and his lovely wife and partner in crime, Jess. Oh, whoa! And that's what they're doing. I'm glad you have heat. Is that one working still? Yeah, yeah it's actually awesome. Yeah, it's that's the, why I stationed the faux fire here at Bullshit. <laughs> I got two of them stationed right between. I'm like, I'm gonna get more one way or another. Now let's show you what's going on in here. Hey everybody, Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates at Bullshad Studios. This is gonna be a quick workshop update. It's kind of giving you a perspective at the end of the week. This is your weekender of what I've been working on throughout the week. Got a few pieces. I don't remember if I showed this to you already. I Maybe I did, not sure. But this is a perch. You guys saw it in a spray session. This is the finished version of that with three layers of clear coat on. Getting ready to go out the door with the rest of the order. These are also part of that order. Some uh, Realis deep divers, those G87s, those are getting repainted. And uh, you guys probably just finished watching the spray sessions that I did earlier this week. If you guys are watching this, I'm either releasing it Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which. The rest of my week, um, today is Wednesday when I'm filming, but by the time you guys see this, I will have done uh, a couple more videos and a whole bunch more orders. So orders are going. We're going like gangbusters. I'm rocking and rolling. I'm getting my groove at the new place. Loving it. Um, everybody kind of acts like a family here, which is fantastic. I really, really enjoy being here. I want to show you guys what you just saw on the last spray session. This is the finished version of these uh, River to Sea Rerucks, the ruckuses that are repainted. So I'm calling them a reruck. And simple is better. I mean, I'm telling you, if, if you're a tournament angler and you have a confidence bait like my guy did with these and you're going to be fishing them and they're just getting chewed and chewed and chewed, which these guys really do. The River to Sea Lipless is phenomenal, really good, really good bait especially this time of year. He just wanted the simple patterns that he had on there redone. So that's what we did for him and uh, put a little bit of a spin on it only because I'll add a little bit of fluorescence to the throat. And I've got a little bit broader of that yellow stripe, but this is that sexy. Got two of those for him. Bringing you guys up. And this is one of the first that I'm shooting on the, uh, the I iPhone 12 Pro Max. So, interested to see how the microphone is going to be doing and how the visuals, how it brings it up into focus. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I don't know how you guys are, are hearing me. So, we'll figure that out when I do the post-production. This is that black back silver. like how that turned out as well. And the Delta Craw, my own little twist on it. Super happy with how these came out. 21. That's right. It is 2021. This I'm kind of happy with. It's not exactly how I wanted it to turn out, but let me bring this up into the light. Um, you guys are watching me film. I've already been spraying this morning, so uh, I keep heat running from the time I come in. But this is a really cool 3D veining technique. This is Merica, folks. This is a bullshad soft tail lipped 
the swim bait. It's got the red, white, and blue. It could also double as, um, you know, the popsicles that are red, white, and blue, the bomb pops. It could double as that too, but I really like how the spider webbing looks 3D on these things. Really pops. Love doing this. You, if you're seeing this, you know, I think I'm going to release this Friday. I'm not going to do a video Thursday. So you guys will see this update Friday. If you happen to be going to the Tennessee Boat Show, uh, I will link that um, website in the description below for you guys. If you happen to be going, go check out the Bullshad booth. He is loaded down with baits. Um, it is the first show that has not been canceled due to health concerns, and we're super stoked. I know they're going to be practicing a safe manner in which they organize and conduct the show. So just uh, practice your social distancing or your mask and you're good to go. I know that there's going to be some, some different things uh, going on. It's going to be loaded with tackle, loaded with boats, Tennessee Boat Show. Go see them. This and multitudes of amazing bait makers and artists are going to be there. The Bullshed booth is going to be set up there. Go say hi to Mike Buca and uh, go, get some, uh, go get some cool, cool, cool swim baits. This is another one of the pieces, and, and we're doing runs of lots of these. And the artists that you know and love, like TK, Bill Barton, um, Daniel up in Alaska, TJ Hatfield, there's just a multitude of artists that are going to be showing their stuff there. Uh, please go see them and go give them some love at the Bullshad booth. This is that standard bluegill, that distressed winter look. Love the faded look. So I've got a bunch of these that are going to be there. And if you guys watched the Instagram feed earlier this week, then you saw the Hulk smash. And this is the other one. And look at the 3D properties on this bait. It literally looks like these veins are jumping off of the bait. Um, these are the standard bullshad eyes that we added um, and sprayed. So these are Mike's eyes that we've just kind of tricked out a little bit. And if that was his idea, he's like, give it eyes that pop, Jen. So we did. So good on him for that. Look at these tails, y'all. Look at the tails on this. Don't look at the speck of dirt that I'm just pushing away, but look at the tail, man. These things are freaking cool. Loving them. Got a bunch of those going up there as well. And I wanted to show you guys a couple more things that are kind of almost off camera. Actually, let me bring this entire thing down. So these are going out the door. I've got them on the clear coat rack. Ten of them were dropped. Ten of them were sold. Thank you very much. This is the baby bull shad and the shad version of this. Now, the shad version is a longer, skinnier bait. Still about the same length as the bull gill, but the bull gill has got a fatter body. No dorsal fin. And this is the cobra koi. You guys love that name when I released it. So I had a lot of fun. I love doing names. Names are just a blast for me to do. But this is that koi pattern. This would be good in the southern market in Texas and Florida. This would be good up north because it almost mimics a perched style bait. But it's got a couple of different properties of orange in it, the fluorescence, and then black and white in that. And then these are the six that I did a spray session on earlier as a refresher course, a crash course on crawfish and how I do stencils with hand cuts. And these are trolling baits, deep divers for walleye. And there's a bunch of different patterns that I'm going to show you guys next week. But um, I'm not going to, you guys saw the actual customs of these earlier in the week. This is what they look like in a two-piece version. These are not available on the website at bullshad.com. They are show pieces only, so they get customized. He does sell them plain. These things are fast. These things are awesome. Great little baits. They get chewed on hard. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Go fishing. Catch a big and Tell me all about it on Monday. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates at Bullshed Studios.